wastewater math quiz number one as with all math quizzes i recommend you use a calculator unless you're smart enough to not need one in that case why are you going into wastewater and as it's wastewater you're going to need the wastewater formula sheets there should be links in the description before we get to the questions my quick legally i do not own any of the questions or material presented in this video everything was sourced off the open internet and this is for educational purposes hopefully it helps you learn let's get into the quiz question one the feed sludge to a belt filter press contains 1.8 percent total solids after dewatering the cake contains 22.5 percent total solids the filtrate from the press contains 300 milligrams per liter of total suspended solids what is the percent solids capture for the belt filter press a 98.46 percent b 95.32 percent c 96.78 percent or d 99.12 percent question number two a facility receives 2 mgd of flow what is the surface overflow rate when two 55 foot diameter secondary clarifiers are in service a 450 gallons per day per square foot b 400 gallons per day per square foot c 435 gallons per day per square foot or d 421 gallons per day per square foot question three the liquid train for a 4 mgd wastewater treatment plant consists of screening grit removal primary clarification activated sludge secondary clarifiers and chlorine disinfection the influent contains 350 milligrams per liter of bod if the primary clarifier removes 35 percent of the influent bod what will be the organic load to the secondary treatment process a 7589 pounds per day b 7400 pounds per day c 7650 pounds per day or d 7725 pounds per day question four an aerobic digester holds 300,000 cubic feet of digesting sludge feed sludge is added at a rate of 0.2 mgd the feed sludge contains six percent total solids which are 80 percent volatile find the loading rate to the digester in pounds vs per day per cubic foot a 0.27 pounds per day per cubic foot b 0.30 pounds per day per cubic foot c 0.25 pounds per day per cubic foot or d 0.33 pounds per day per cubic foot question five a wastewater treatment plant has two aeration basins online the combined volume of all basins is 180,000 cubic feet if the MLSS concentration is 3,000 milligrams per liter, how many pounds of MLSS are in the basins? A. 32,500 pounds. B. 33,100 pounds. C. 33,777 pounds. Or D. 34,200 pounds. now the correct answers if i did the math properly hopefully i did question one a question two d question three a question four a and question five c all right welcome to the part of the video where we solve the math questions step by step let's get to it Question one was the feed sludge to a belt filter press contains 1.8% total solids. After dewatering, the cake contains 22.5% total solids. The filtrate from the press contains 300 milligrams per liter of total suspended solids. 
what is the percent solids capture for the belt filter press? All right, first let's pull our known and our unknowns from our word question so it's easy to keep track of. So what you know is that the feed is 1.8%, the cake is 22.5%, the filtrate is 300 milligrams per liter, and we're, lo we're looking for is the percent capture. The formula for solids capture percent is equal to the cake total solids percent divided by the feed sludge total solids percent times the feed sludge total solids percent minus the return total suspended solids percent divided by the cake total solids percent minus the return total suspended solids percent times 100. All right, so from our known and our unknowns, we already have the feed percent and the cake percent, but what about the return total suspended solids? Well, we're going to need to convert that 300 milligrams per liter to a percent. And remember, to find the percent captured for a belt filter press, the 1% is equal to 10,000 milligrams per liter. So that's the conversion we're going to use, that 1% is equal to 10,000 milligrams per liter. As always, remember the thing you want to cancel out in unit conversions needs to go on the bottom. It's buried underneath. It's gone. So we have 300 milligrams per liter times 1% over 10,000 milligrams per liter. This is going to cause your milligrams per liter to cancel out, so it's division. And when you do the math, you get 0.03%. So now we can plug everything into our formula. Now I recommend when plugging this in that you are slow, deliberate, and take your time. So we have the cake of 22.5% divided by the feed of 1.8%. And they're going to multiply that by the feed of 1.8% minus the filtrate of 0.03%. We're going to divide that by the cake of 22.5% minus the filtrate of 0.03%. And then after we do that, we're going to multiply by 100. So first, let's solve for everything in the brackets, the 1.8% minus 0.03 and 22.5 minus 0.03. And when you do subtraction, you end up with 1.77% on top and 22.47% on bottom. So now let's do our division. And when you do your division, you get 12.5% and 0.0788%. So we're going to do 12.5% times 0.0788% times 100. And we get an answer of 98.5%. And the closest answer is A, 98.46%. Question 2 was, a facility receives 2 MGD of flow. What is the surface overflow rate when two 55-foot diameter secondary clarifiers are in service? First, let's pull our known and unknown out of our word question. So what you know is the flow is 2 million gallons a day, and you have two 55-foot diameter clarifiers. What we're looking for is the surface overflow rate. To find the surface overflow rate, the formula is equal to the flow gallons per day divided by the area in square feet. Well, to get the 2 MGD into gallons per day, we're going to do 2 times 1 million. And that gives you 2 million gallons per day. And to find the area of a circle when given the diameter, it is 0 0.785 times diameter squared. So you have 0 0.785 times the diameter of 55 feet squared, so times itself. When you do that math, you get 2,374.6 square feet. Now remember, there are two secondary clarifiers, so we're going to have to multiply that by two. So you have 2,374.6 square feet times two. 
and you get an answer of 4,749.2 square feet. So now we can plug that into our formula. So we have 2 million gallons per day divided by 4,749.2 foot squared. And when you do your math, you get the answer of 421 gallons per day per square foot. So the answer was D. Question three. The liquid train for a 4MGD wastewater treatment plant consists of a screening, grit removal, primary clarification, activated sludge, secondary clarifiers, and chlorine disinfection. The influent contains 350 milligrams per liter of BOD. If the primary clarifier removes 35% of the influent BOD, what will be the organic load to the secondary treatment process? All right, let's pull out our known and our unknowns from this word problem. What you know is the flow was 4 MGD. The BOD was 350 milligrams per liter. The percent removed was 35%. And what you're looking for is the organic load to the secondary treatment process. This just ends up being a pounds formula. So it's dosage milligrams per liter times flow million gallons a day times a standard of 8.34 pounds per gallon. And we're going to multiply the percent load as a decimal. The primary treatment removed 35%. So to find out what is going to the secondary treatment process, we're going to do 100% minus 35%. And you get 65% when you do the subtraction. So now we're going to plug the 65% of solids that end up going to the secondary treatment. We're going to plug that in as a decimal. And we're going to plug in our dosage and flow as well. So we have 350 milligrams per liter times 4 million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 0.65. So do your multiplication. And the answer is 7,589.4, or A, 7,589 pounds per day. Question 4. An anaerobic digester holds 300,000 cubic feet of digesting sludge. Feed sludge is added at a rate of 0.2 mgd. The feed sludge contains 6% total solids, of which are 80% volatile. Find the loading rate to the digester in pounds volatile solids per day per cubic foot. First, let's pull our known and our unknown out of the question. So what we know is the digesting sludge is 300,000 cubic feet. The feed sludge is 2 point, I'm sorry, 0 0.2 mgd. The percent total solids is 6%, and the volatile solids is 80%. What we don't know is the loading rate of volatile solids per day per cubic foot. To find that, the formula solids loading rate pounds per day per cubic foot is equal to the solids applied pounds per day divided by the volume of cubic feet. So we have our volume in cubic feet. We're going to need to find the solids applied pounds per day. The pounds per day formula is milligrams per liter times flow million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds per gallon. Well, we have our flow in million gallons a day, but we do not have our milligrams per liter. We have 6%. Now remember to convert percent to milligrams per liter, 1% is equal to 10,000 milligrams per liter. So we're going to do a unit conversion. So 6% times 10,000 milligrams per liter over 1%. And the percent will cancel out. So when you do your multiplication, you get 60,000 milligrams per liter. So now we can plug everything into our pounds per day formula. So you have 60,000 milligrams per liter times 0 0.2 mgd times 8.34 pounds per gallon so you do your multiplication 
and you get an answer of 100,080 pounds per day. Now remember, it's looking for the loading rate to the digester in volatile solids. There were 80% volatile solids in that 100,000. So you're going to times 100,080 by 0 0.08. That's 80% as a decimal. And you get a total of 80,064 pounds per day of volatile solids. So now we can plug everything into our formula. So you have 80,064 pounds per day of volatile solids divided by the 300,000 cubic feet. You do your division, and the answer is 0 0.266, and we're going to round that to 27. So A, 0 0.27 pounds per day of volatile solids of cubic feet, A. Question five, a wastewater treatment plant has two aeration basins online. The combined volume of all basins is 180,000 cubic feet. If the MLSS concentration is 3,000 milligrams per liter, how many pounds of MLSS are in the basin? First, let's pull our known and unknowns out of our word problem. What you know is the volume is 180,000 cubic feet. The concentration is 3,000 milligrams per liter, and what we don't know is the pounds. Don't know the pounds? Must be a pounds formula. Pounds formula, dosage or milligrams per liter, flow or just million gallons, times 8.34 pounds per gallon. All right, first we need to get our flow or our volume in million gallons. So we're going to take the 180,000 cubic feet and convert that into million gallons. To do that, you do 180,000 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons over a cubic foot. The cubic feet will cancel out. And then you're going to times that by 1 million gallons over 1 million gallons. If you see how it's written, it makes sense. And that will cancel out and leave you with million gallons. So do your multiplication and division. And you end up with 1.346 million gallons. We're just going to round that to 1.35. Now we can plug everything into our pounds formula. So you have 3,000 milligrams per liter times 1.35 million gallons a day times 8.34 pounds per gallon. Answer my alarm. Do your math. And the answer is 33,777. So, C. That's it. Five quiz questions solved. Hopefully this helps you learn. Thanks.